This is a setup guide on how to get started for the C workshop. So the first thing you want to do is install VS Code. So VS Code, you can just search it up and you'll see code.visualstudio.com. You want to click on that and install it for whatever platform you're on. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to install the Windows build. So we can accept the agreement, select the default folders, and just install it. So here is VS Code. VS Code is a lightweight text editor, but it has an important feature that we'd like. So under the extensions tab on the left, we can install the remote SSH plugin. This will allow us to connect to the DH computer labs. So now that this extension is installed, we can go down to the bottom left here, and now we can connect to a host using the remote SSH plugin. Over here, you want to enter a user at a host. So by default, what you want to connect to is your uTOR ID at one of the DH labs. So like there is DH2020, there's DH2010, and there's also DH2026. So I'm going to be connecting to DH2020, and then you want to enter a PC number, so in this case, I'm going to enter PC26. The different DH labs have different PC numbers, so you can try around. If one of the PCs is not working, you can try a different PC number or a different lab. And then it's at utm.utoronto.ca. So replace your utoid with your utoid. And then after that's there, you can now connect to it. Select Linux as the platform and select continue if it prompts you for that. Then it will ask for your password. So this is your Utoronto password. And you can see it's opening it up and now I've connected to it. So if I go on the left of the Explorer here, I can open a folder. And by default, it's going to open up in the slash student slash your U2ID folder. This is your folder to, this, this is your primary folder for the Linux machines. Like this is your home folder. So I can open that up. Once again, it's asking for Linux and my password. And now on the left here, you can see every file I have inside the, the lab machines. So I already have a few files and folders, but you might not have anything. But this is sufficient to get started. In the terminal tab, you can open up a new terminal. This is essentially a remote connection to the lab machine. So if I type ls, I can see all the files that are stored on my lab machine. The lab machines are special and where all the files are shared across all the lab machines. So even if you connect to a different lab machine number in the future, all your files should still be there. So this is enough to get set up for the lab. And this concludes the setup. When you start the lab, please open up VS Code and SSH into the one of your lab machines of your choice and open up the terminal.